since you weren't here, um, I'm going to have you look at this practice using equation editor quiz. And so if you will find that and then open it, I want everyone to practice when I give you a text box, being able to plug in these different types of expressions because we're going to move to some of those questions onto Canvas quizzes for homework or quizzes or tests um, where you just have to plug in your equation. So for each question, I'm just asking you to type in the expression that I'm giving you. So whenever I'm asking for an answer and there's a text box, if you go to these three dots right here, and then the square root of x, that's going to pull up your equation editor. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over so I can see. So we're plugging in this plus or minus 4y squared. So here's my plus or minus button for y. I'm just using this on my keyboard. And then this is my exponent button. And then I fill in what I want that exponent to be. Hit insert equation. And there it is. Okay. Question two. So again, I want to type this in. So I'm going to go to these dots. I'm going to open equation editor. And this time I'm doing cube root. So that's going to be right here. So notice it lets me plug in the index. Three. I want that quantity in parentheses. So if on your keyboard, if you select parentheses, it's going to automatically bring up two. And then you're going to plug in your quantity. So four in. Again, I'm just using my keyboard. Exponent button. Two. Then I'm using this arrow to the right because I want to get out of exponent and go back into just this quantity where I'm doing minus 5. Again, I'm just doing the keyboard. I'm doing the right arrow to go on the outside of those parentheses, and I want to make an exponent here of 2. And then I will insert. All right, question 3. So go to your equation editor. I start with a 2. Now, absolute value bars, you can either use the straight up and down line on your computer. So that would be that. If you just hit that button, it's going to be that. Otherwise, hit shift and that button, and you're going to see absolute value bars come up. Or if you go over here to relationships, right here is an absolute value bar. And then we're doing a quantity. So I'm going to do parentheses. I just did that on my, calcul er, my keyboard. X, go back to basic here. So x, exponent of 2, and then minus 3, and then I want to raise that to the third. So I just did an exponent, and then I'm going to do absolute value again to finish that out. Okay? Question 4. So we're going to type in this expression right here. So this is a fraction. So I need to get my fraction here. So I'm going to start and I'm going to do a to the fourth. So that's going to like this. Get out of the exponent thing. That's just square root. So that's here. And then a, b. Then I can use my down arrow to go to the denominator. And that's b to the third power. And I can insert right there. Question five. So we're going to type in this one. Again, this is a fraction, so it starts off as 10 plus, and I'm just using my keyboard, or you could use this plus sign, and then 4 rad 3 over the denominator 13. Insert. All right, question 6. This is a fraction, and this is x to the 7 8. So we're going to do x and then we want an exponent and we want that exponent to be a fraction to the 7 over 8. And then my denominator is x. And the last one, we're going to plug in 2 here. So the first expression I'm plugging in, this is a fraction. So I'm doing this top one right here, 3x and then minus 8x, that's raised, so that's an exponent, to the half. So I make a fraction, 1 half, and then plus 4, and then 9x minus 4. Okay? And I'm going to insert, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit return a couple times, and then I will do this next one. So the next one I want to type is this fraction. So 3x minus 8 this is square root x, 
and then plus 4 all over 9x minus 4. And then I can insert, and then I have both of those right there. If you have any questions about using your equation editor, let me know. Thanks.